In today's video, I'm finally gonna tell you guys the mod that I finally bought. Yep, Pegasus got a mod, and it just so happens to be the I hope this windscreen is working, but Bruce, there's shade like right there beside you, but you just want to sit in the heat. Well, what's going on YouTube? It's PJ with another video coming at you guys, except this time I'm officially going to be putting on my first mod that I bought for the Cobra. There she is back there. And... Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you about this thing. The gin. I had to raise it back up so it has this nasty wheel gap and still has the messed up plastic up. But I mean, it's gonna be getting sold real soon. I only have one more thing to do. I don't even remember if I told you guys, but I ripped off the side skirt and here it is. The side skirt. Bruce is always in the yard. But yeah, I'm actually, wait, do I wanna drive the car beforehand or do I not? I think I'm gonna drive the car just for the added suspense. Oh, it's hot how to the two fat people in the phone booth. compressor went out like some time ago actually and I ride around <laughs> spiders I ride around with no AC now and I mean as long as it's not raining I can ride around normally because I normally don't even use the AC I just ride with the windows down listen to the exhaust Yeah, and I know you guys look forward to these Cobra videos, the Terminator, I mean, who doesn't? We're all car enthusiasts, and everybody just happens to love the Terminator. It's an iconic car. I'm sorry that I don't get as many Terminator videos as I want to get out to you guys, but whenever... Okay, for me, driving a stockish car is it, just not appealing to me, but... If you guys enjoy it, then please let me know in the comment section below some things that you guys want to see about the Terminator. Just trying to get a last minute feel of the car before I put this mod on. Auction. How much y'all think I can get for this antique I'm driving? <laughs> Trucks in our highway. Nah, that's just me. Utility work ahead. What does that mean? Speed up? Be prepared to stop. <laughs> yeah, they better be prepared to stop because I'm coming through. Being out west means I'm going to be this hot all the time. I don't think I can live with it. I was just kidding, by the way. Look both ways before crossing the street, honey. We don't want you getting hit. 
Now's the time we've all been waiting for. It's time for me to install the mod. But beforehand, you guys are gonna have to go give this video a thumbs up and you can comment down in the section below and try to guess what the mod is. At the beginning of the video, I should have stated that, but hey, right now, <laughs> there isn't a better time. So let me know in the comment section below what you think the mod is and how much horsepower you think I'm gonna gain from it. Or if I'm just bluffing the whole thing. Oh my gosh, what is this? What is this? It's huge and it's moving his head back and forth. Oh, it's crawling. Oh. Oh. George, George, George of the jungle. Strong as he can be. Oh. Watch out for that foot. Moment of truth, guys. Finally got a tuner. Finally, after the third try. Okay, guys, so I finally got my tuner and it is from Bama Performance. And around here, they have a pretty rough reputation due to some people, but I'm just gonna try it out. I mean, I got it for like dirt cheap. So, I mean, I couldn't pass it up. So let's hook this baby on up. Okay, so I'm in this hot car and hold on, there it is. And it's doing something. It's uploading the computer. Was that 44%? I'll get back with you whenever it's almost done. Okay, so I didn't do anything but a strategy tune. It's, oh wow. And it went pretty quickly. Let's see what's going on. Y'all probably know way more than I do. Because in the Genesis... Oh, it's downloading the tune now. Okay. In the Genesis, I just had... It was... I had to replace the whole ECU. And I had to keep sending it back and forth if I wanted anything done to it. But other than that... <laughs> it was... I mean, it was, it was worthwhile. SFR knew what they were doing. But it was just some confusion, a little bit of confusion. That's all. Okay, so I'm about to start the vehicle up for the first time from the, on the tune. And let's see if it makes a difference. See if I know what I'm doing at least a little bit. Oh, a little backfire. looks normal but let me go for a little drive and see before I have to go to work okay so about to pull out on the road for the first time and it feels it feels a little different like I feel the, the throttle response is a little a little bit more crisp can you guys see me? Alright. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around and get a a little pool in it and see what happens. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna do a second gear. Pretty quick, 
but I'll have to play around with the tune and see. <laughs> okay guys, so unfortunately I have to go and get ready for work. So if I could, I would keep recording, but I actually have to go. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. And share this video with your friends. And somebody, please help me tune this thing over here. And I mean, yeah, leave a comment down in the section below and let me know how you guys think I can tune a catback intake terminator. And I'll get back with you in the comments. All right, but you guys have been awesome. Thanks for watching this video and thank you for your time. Thank you.